Hi, my name is Jason uh, from Georgetown University. And I was just wondering, Mr. Stone, why did you choose this subject matter? Well, um, it came about really from personal, personal experience. Okay. Uh, I've got two small children. And so kids are always curious about the world and they, they naturally are inclined to sort of be interested in the environment. So I talk to them about it, yeah. you know. And um, what, I, uh, what I've noticed is since this new resurgence of interest in the environment as a result of climate change, mm -hmm. most young people have no idea that there's a whole history to this awareness about our relationship to the earth and our need to care for the earth, that this, is, this has gone back you know, standing on the shoulders of giants, that this is, didn't just start with Al Gore, and didn't just start with climate change, which is what most people think. Right. They have no idea about this history, partly because there's never been a book, well, there's maybe one or two small books about mm -hmm. it. And certainly no, nobody's ever made a film about it. It's sort of uncharted territory. So I wanted to make a film that's more, just, more than a history of this movement, but really a chronicle, a uh, personal chronicle through the eyes of these nine people I interviewed um, about our awakening to the crisis uh, in, from the, like 1950 to 1980 and the rise of this political movement. Because I feel, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that we as a species really went through a kind of evolutionary leap in terms of our whole thinking about our relationship as, as human beings on this planet I, I agree with to that. the earth. I mean, it was we, uh, just a sea change that's just, uh, m people today just can't imagine that, you know, 40, 50 years ago, the idea was that the earth was there just for us to pillage for our own whatever we wanted. And you build a factory, you'd spew stuff into the water or into the air. There was no controls, no thought about it.